This is a short tutorial on how to set up a site definition in Dreamweaver so that you can edit and manage websites here at Sonoma State. The first thing we're going to do is open up Dreamweaver and then on the top menu where it says Site, pull down and say New Site. This is our site definition window and we are on the advanced side rather than on the basic side. The first thing you're going to come to is the site name. The site name is just a handy label for the website you're working on. It doesn't have to match anything on the server. So we're going to put, in this case, Sociology. The next spot down is the Local Root folder. The Local Root folder is the folder on your computer where you will keep all files related to your website and where Dreamweaver will download files and upload files. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop by pressing the blue folder icon. You can put yours wherever you want on your computer, but I'm going to put mine on the desktop. And I'm going to call the new folder Sociology Website. Now the default images folder should usually be in the same folder with your other website documents. So I'm going to put a new folder in and say Images where all of my images will be kept. Now we come to links relative to. The default is document and you will fill in your website's address here at the HTTP address. So for my website I'm going to put HTTP colon slash slash www.sonoma.edu slash sociology. You can leave case sensitive links blank and you can make sure that the cache is checked. Now we'll go over to the category area on the left hand side and choose remote info. Pull down the access menu and choose webdav. In the URL area you want to put your webdav URL. This should have been given to you either by the help desk or by the web office. We're going to add an S to the HTTP colon slash slash then our webdav URL is dav.sonoma.edu and then the name of our website sociology. In the login field type your Seawolf username and password like you use in your email. Now you can click the test button to test your webdav account settings. If the login fails, verify your account information and correct the settings as necessary. You're now ready to edit files or connect to the server to upload or download. Congratulations!